Good evening guys, our latest will be about ESCOM pylons which are now being destroyed across the country. Let's follow up on that. As a country, we are still trying to recover from cable theft and streetlights vandalism, but it seems like there is a new trend. Foreign nationals are now going after ESCOM pylons. Some of these pylons are now collapsing due to being vandalized. As a government is doing nothing about this, our infrastructure is crumbling. Our country is vanishing right before our eyes. What must we do and whom to vote for in the next elections? We need an urgent solution or else in the next five years we won't have any country left. Check some of these pylons that were recently destroyed in the next slide. Please remember to also leave your comments down below and let us know of your take regarding this. And that's all we have for now. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I'll see you again in the next update. Bye. This is Celia Brink, Mayor of Tswane. I am at the site where several pylons collapsed last night. And as you can see, the high voltage cables are across the highway. The highway has been closed. Uh, there's serious damage here. Uh, the city is still busy assessing the extent of the damage. We know that many parts of Pretoria East as well as Mamalodi are off because of this damage. Uh, the problem I am informed by councillors in the area is that there's been several attempts over a period of time to steal the uh, metal that forms part of the pylon construction. And there's the possibility that this is in fact what happened last night. So not just one attempt, uh, several attempts uh, and several repairs. And in fact, when you look at the steel structure of the pylon, you can actually see where the repair work has been done. So there is a very strong possibility that this is because of criminal vandalism. So the extent of the problem, as I mentioned, is enormous. Uh, we cannot make any promises at this stage, except for the fact that we will keep the public informed of this assessment as well as the repair work. The city is doing all in its power including talking to ESCOM to see what assistance can be given here. Uh, until we have more, uh, this is what, what information is at hand. We promise to keep the public updated. This is this is power um, pylon. Look at all the steel that's been stripped out the bottom. So that pylon, all that weight is on four pieces of angle at the bottom. It's like that all the way down Main Reef Road. There's another two there, and one has collapsed just up the road from here. So all these pylons are going to come down. As soon as the heavy winds come, these pylons are going over. I don't even get any closer. The one's already down just behind me. I'll, I'll stop and take a photograph.